But now, after you have known God, or rather are known by God, how is it that you turn again to the weak and beggarly elements to which you desire again to be in bondage? You observe days and months and seasons and years. I am afraid for you, lest I have labored for you in vain. The argument states that this passage shows that Paul believed that the Sabbath laws were spiritual bondage. First, it is important to note that the greater context of Galatians does not have to do with the observance of God's law. It's a reprimand against the dangerous error of relying on the works of the law for salvation. This is the meaning of the phrase, under law. It has nothing to do with a simple attempt to obey the law in any respect. This phrase is used throughout Galatians and elsewhere in Paul's writings and has different meanings usually made clear by the context. To be under the law is used in this letter as a phrase to signify someone who is relying on the works of the law for justification. So let's begin to address the argument. Number one, God's holy, righteous, and good commands are not weak and beggarly elements. Romans 7.14 says that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, sold under sin. How can something that is described this way be a weak and beggarly element, or a rudiment of the world? Number two, months, seasons, and years. Nowhere does the law of God or the Torah command the observance of a month or a season. In fact, observing of times is expressly forbidden in the law. It's a reference to pagan superstitions, such as omens, soothsaying, or horoscopes. We can read about this in Deuteronomy 18, 10 through 14. As for years, the Shemitah, or year of release, was not observed by Jews outside of Israel, and the Jubilee year was unknown. They didn't know when it was. Therefore, it wasn't observed at all. The Shemitah and Jubilee were established by God to protect and give rest to the land and to declare freedom and the returning of property to its rightful owner. How could this possibly be construed as a dangerous activity? The Sabbath days and years are a picture of Christ and eternal redemption. The context shows that this passage is referring to pagan holidays, not God's holidays. As verse 8 says, How be it then, when you knew not God, you did service unto them which by nature are not gods. Practicing pagan customs would definitely cause Paul to fear that his labor for them was in vain, not the observance of the Sabbath according to God's command. Number three, Paul himself observed the law, including the Sabbath. There are several passages that indicate this. So it would seem odd to call the very things he faithfully observed weak and beggarly elements. He then says in verse 12, Brethren, I beseech you, be as I am that is, faithful to God and his commands, without paying heed to those contrary to the faith. So, let's look again at the argument. The phrase, weak and beggarly elements, is not what the Bible would use to describe God's holy word, even the commandments. The observance of months, or seasons, is not commanded in God's law. Also, Paul himself kept the Sabbath, and he advised the Galatians to be like him.